Hi guys, I want to talk about something today that you would think by now everybody would know, but apparently a lot of people do not know. And that is how to be safe during a traffic stop. How not to become a statistic, uh, how to comport yourself, basically what to do when you are stopped by the police. And keep in mind, cops are people too, okay? I don't care, this is not a racial thing, this is not a political thing. In fact, in a lot of the big cities, 60-70% of the cops are minorities. Um, cops are people too. They just want to go home. They just want to see their kids. They just want to see their families just like you do. There are a few things you can do to make sure a traffic stop goes as smoothly as possible. Number one is remain calm. Don't be fidgety. Try not to act nervous. I've done this myself. I've been nervous and physically shaking when I've been stopped by a cop. And, and like I said, this I am a white guy, obviously. This is not a racial thing, but try to remain calm. Realize it's nothing personal. Uh, it's nothing racial. The cop is just doing his job. The one the traffic stop I got nervous on, it was at nighttime, and my license plate light was out, which I did not know. Uh, it was a black cop that stopped me, incidentally, and I don't know why. I was very, very nervous. I had I had had a beer or two earlier, and I think maybe that had something to do with it, which is another issue, don't drink and drive. Be calm. If you're acting overly nervous, that that's a flag to a cop that something isn't right. So be calm, be cooperative, it'll be over soon. Uh I'm amazed at how many people drive without a driver's license or with a suspended driver's license or an expired driver's license or no insurance, no registration, whatever. Uh, that's my number two thing is know where your papers are. Have your papers. Know where they are in the car. Know where your papers are so you can find them easily if you are stopped. That's something that uh, a lot of people don't even think about. And keep your hands on the wheel or at least visible. Like I said, don't reach around. Don't lunge for your glove compartment looking for your registration. That's why it's very important to have your things together in one location, center console, visor, someplace where you know where they are and you can get them quickly. And uh, <clears throat> I always like to... I don't get stopped a lot. I've been stopped several times. And uh, that's how I came up with these ideas. I have a concealed carry permit. Uh, in some states, you're required to tell a cop that you have a concealed carry permit, whether you're carrying or not. Other states, you are not required to tell the cop if you have a concealed carry permit. I always find it's best wherever you are, and I've been stopped in multiple states, tell the cop I have a concealed carry permit and I always have the, my license and my concealed carry permit together when the cop approaches the car. First of all, have the windows down. Stay in the car unless the cop tells you to get out of the car. Have your hands visible. I have my license and concealed carry permit in my hand and I hand it to him and I say just to let you know I am armed. And I use the word armed because it's not a trigger word. I don't go, I have a gun or I have a firearm. I say very calmly, you know, just to let you know, I, I am armed. And the cop will ask, where is it? And I have been stopped multiple times while, con while concealed carrying. And the cop will ask, where is, where is it? And I'll ask him where it is. And he'll say, okay, well, don't touch it. I have never, ever had a cop disarm me, frisk me after I told him that. Uh, I was driving in South Carolina. I live in Florida. I was driving in South Carolina a few years ago, and I had eight guns in the car, one on me and seven more in various places in the car. That was an unusual circumstance. I don't dr always drive around with eight guns in the car, but uh, cops stopped me and asked me. I told him I am armed, and he goes, uh, where is it? And I said, it's in my waistband. And I said, I also have one in the glove compartment, I have one in the center console, I have three in the trunk, I have two in the back seat, whatever it was. And I, you know, I listed them off and the cop kind of chuckled and said, well, you can never have too many guns. And I thought, great, he's not going to give me a ticket, he's a gun guy. And um, so we had a nice little chat, it was actually a little pleasant exchange. And then he gave me a ticket.
for speeding, which I deserved. But uh, like I said, uh, that wasn't my number five on the list. I, I don't always write notes. I wrote a few notes here. Number five was stay in the car unless you were told to get out. Number six is obey commands. Don't argue with the cop. Don't keep asking him, why are you stopping me? You know, you don't have the right to do this. You don't have the right to do that. Uh, most times when a cop stops you, it doesn't take a whole lot of probable cause to search your car. Now, if a cop asks you, can I search your car, you have the right to say no. And if the cop is not suspicious, although sometimes that will make them suspicious, if a cop is not suspicious of you or doesn't feel like messing with it, he will not search the car and say, okay, well, here's your ticket and have a nice day. Uh, it only takes about 30, 40 minutes in most places for a cop to get a search warrant to search your car, which uh, just means you're going to be sitting there on the side of the road for an another 30, 40 minutes, an hour, waiting for the cop to get the search warrant. And... Uh, if you're not doing anything illegal, if you don't have anything illegal in your car, it's not a big deal to let the cop look and see that you don't have anything illegal in your car. Um, be patient on a traffic stop. It can take a while. I, I know people personally who have been stopped, uh, handcuffed, because they have the same name as a wanted person. And my... Uh, my wife is Hispanic and her family members obviously are Hispanic and it's very common for Hispanic people to have very common names. There are, I don't want to sound racist about this because it's not about race like I said, but Hispanic people have a lot of the same first names and last names and same first to last name combinations. Uh, and one of my wife's relatives was stopped uh, and detained for quite a while until they figured out he wasn't the person they were looking for who had felonies and, and he was completely clean. It, it takes them a while to figure this stuff out. It's nothing personal and he understood that. It's like it's something he dealt with. Uh, if the cops do ask to put you in handcuffs, you're not necessarily under arrest. They're detaining you for safety, for your safety, for their safety. There have been a lot of horrendous, horrendous accidents and what I would call malpractice by cops where someone accidentally gets shot uh, in, in a raid or, or just mistakes that the cops make. So please don't give the cops a chance to make a mistake. If you're calm, the cops will be calm. Don't escalate the situation. Uh, and here is my final point. Don't fight, don't run. Almost every person you will see in an officer-involved shooting is fighting the cops and or running from the cops. Whatever it is, even if you have a felony warrant, it is not worth dying over. Uh, you, would you rather, even if you have a felony warrant and you're going to go to jail for 10 years, would you rather go to jail for 10 years or would you rather be dead forever? Use common sense. Don't fight the cops. Treat them like a person. Treat them with respect. Remain calm. Follow their orders. Don't fight the cops. If you do those things, that will reduce your chance of becoming a statistic or being injured or killed during a traffic stop by 99%. And as I said, this is not a racial thing. This applies to everyone. These are rules that I developed years ago. Uh, Everybody is nervous and scared when they're pulled over by a cop. It's, it's not fun for anyone. Point is, remain calm. If you're relaxed, the cop is much more likely to be relaxed, and bad things are much less likely to happen. I know it's common sense. They should teach this in school. I don't even think they teach driver's education in school, but in my opinion, this should be taught in school, and it should be on your driver's license exam, how to behave when you're stopped by a cop. You're not going to win. It's not going to be a good outcome if you try to fight or run. Just keep that in mind. All right, guys, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching, and be safe out there.